Hello and welcome to Let's Play Blue Stinger. I'm Entrance Jew, and today with me is Very Technique yet again. And the first order of business is switching to dog. Dogs has a very super special thing: the sumo shirt. We spent some time getting that last episode, and it is with great reason that we got it because it is the best thing in the world. <laughs> As soon as we get it, we are just masters of the universe. Look at this. We are E-Honda up in this game. I like his little laugh that he had when you equipped it, too. Dogs is just a very jolly guy. <laughs> so, first we have to go and get the other two stamps, but... That's behind the second emergency shutter behind here. But it's more important that we demonstrate the full potential of the sumo shirt. Just go over here and ruin this guy's day. You see, the sumo shirt can stunlock enemies, and that is why we want it, because it is the best thing in the world. They don't have a real chance to hurt us, and, well, why would we have anything else? I will demonstrate the other weapons for dogs, and I could use them if people want to see them, but I don't know. It's It just seems like it's less hassle to work with dogs in Sumo Shirt. The karate shirt would be interesting. He never showed that off. Well, I could have, but I also could have died a lot. So it's best that we just didn't use it at all. It just has too many chances to be like left completely open, like Elliot when is with his fist. Even though I was pretty much up on enemies, they still managed to get a couple hits in in the middle of me attacking them. A small effect that some people might not notice is that when I walk over this broken glass, um, it makes a small uh, crinkling sound effect, just a shattered like glass sound effect, and that's one of a couple times where the footstep sound changes. And I got a little bit too ballsy and went after this vine uh, with the sumo shirt. The vine is still an enemy that I wouldn't recommend going after, but I do it anyways. Before I get smart and go after him like this. It, it's possible to not take damage. It's just the timing on vines is really weird because they have the sweeping attack and the stabby pokey attack. Back here we have this whole, like, television store and, uh, basically cable area. And I take a good look around because this is, I think, with the a couple exceptions, this is about the only time we're gonna ever see this kind of, these assets used in the game. That one in the top right, black and white Japanese lady, looks like someone was trying to watch porn and accidentally streamed it on one of these TVs. And all of those TVs right there. Yeah, those two. I mean, you can't really argue with that. Oh, oh, you got Total Ten back. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Guy sounds so goofy. It's a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek kind of reference because it keeps flashing between uh, a Nephi, which is the name of our giant anime flashlight, and um, Sting Me, which is a play on the game's title. The game's title wasn't actually Blue Stinger the whole time through. Thanks to Robert Short, he uh, informed me that the name of the game was The Dinosaur Killer, which I'm kind of glad the game got a name change because that's a bit absurd or silly. And a giant mess happened there. I don't know what happened. Dog came, th came through to uh, clean up the only important parts. Bullet. Dogs is just so smug all the time. He's just like, hey. He would. He really would be the best Santa. The jolliest, smuggest bastard in the world. Who would give kids nothing they wanted ever? He'd give them all bullets. <laughs> and so we go after the bird, and again, the sumo attack isn't as strong as some of the other forms of attack, but. It stun locks, so really it doesn't. It's worth your time to just sit there and spam it, as opposed to uh, using a stronger weapon with more and uh, vulnerability frames. It actually looked like you were hitting him with your right fist. 
way more than your left fist. It looked like your left fist was missing at least half the time. That's something between, I think, each monster, how vulnerable they are, I'd say. Like, they might have a little bit more vulnerability frames, but that... But it's actually kind of really important because a lot of these monsters, I'm taking them down really easy, but... See, that one just took a big portion of my health, and with how few healing items are actually laying around, Keep in mind, most of these healing items I bought at the beginning of the last episode, so the game's only given me enough healing items to kind of patch up some wounds here and there and not really keep my health topped off like I would like to. We're going to take that video rental card and run back to the front of the store um, to an access way that we couldn't quite get to yet because we needed the card to get to the last stamp. And ain't it a treat. Aren't the stamps just great? They're just the most wonderfulest thing. What are you doing? Did you go to Rat's place? I'm looking for Taco Pen. I guess she doesn't understand jokes. I love these kind of chicks. I... I don't understand the writing in this game sometimes. Like, I, I know what it's trying to do, but it's not doing it right. Definitely not. Like, the voice actors are trying, but the lines, the way they're written... Congratulations! I'm Taco Pen Thief! Thanks for getting me! He's Solid sn Snake. Yes. We just picked up the best sneaking mission. The lines... They don't jive with the voice actors. It's either the voice actors are performing a line weirdly, or the line's just odd and the voice actors do it right. Congratulations! You have completed the stamp rally! Please take the elevator to the second floor. Let's join the special discount! So, we finally get access to the second floor, and there are no special discounts. There are none. Everything costs the same. Seems like a ploy by the mall to get you to go to every store in the mall. And then come up here and get ripped off. Yeah. The the special discount they were referring to was that the availability of items. That there are items up here that you can't get elsewhere. Also, this is the bull stinger um, for that dog shot down in the beginning of the game. It went down on three crossbow shots. We've been slapping this guy a good deal, and I think two of Dog's slaps are equivalent to maybe like a single handgun shot. And a single handgun shot's like worth 0.75 of uh, a crossbow shot, and the, the figures just don't scale. I've, on my uh, previous runs, when I first played the game, because dogs took it down so easily with the crossbow, I thought, hey, I might as well too, and I ended up burning up two or three clips on it. Not a good idea. But your reward is all the money ever. Yeah. Um, that's one of the few enemies that does not respawn, fortunately. Although it would be really awesome if we could just sit there and farm that. But no, that's not the case. Um, that's a stun rod right there. It's a weapon for Elliot. We're not gonna get it. Instead, we're gonna get this dachshund. This small dog. Magic medicine. Small dog. Small dog medicine. Magic. This door right here, it requires us to have $3,000, and we just barely broke a thousand from all the enemies that we killed up to this point. So, we're not gonna be able to get back there for quite some time. We're just not gonna really worry about that. There are some really awesome weapons back there, but 
it's not worth it to buy them now. Do you actually have to pay 3,000, or do you just have to have 3,000? You just have to have 3,000. Phew, saved my life? You guys are rescuers? How many are saved? Is Devlin alive? Chill, one question at a time. Okay. First of all, we are not rescuers. I mean, I am. I I'm as lost as you are, and I have no idea how many survived. Do you have the card key to the freezer warehouse? Who are you? He's Dogs Bauer, captain of the SS Deanna. We're... No time for explanation. If you want to live, give me the card key. It's in a safe on my desk. This is a key to the safe. Wait here. I'll be back right away. Eh. I... I like Dog's character, and in the last cutscene, I, I thought... I want to go back home. Okay, now Dog's attitude is entirely excused. I thought Ryan Drummond was actually doing a really good effort with the um, voice acting there, of all places. This game's kind of mismatched in a lot of places. There's a lot of effort going in, but it's not all working together. We're finally going to give Devlin his medicine. His tiny dogs. Here, I got your dachshund. Th thanks, you saved my life. Here, use this. What I want to know is what kind of life-saving medicine you can buy in a vending machine. What kind of life-saving medicine you can buy in a vending machine that also contains basically Red Bull. And I start fumbling around here because I don't know where the safe is. The safe is really hard to find for me. It's, I did not appear to be right there. It's not something that I'm looking at. Now you can go steal all the meat in all the freezers. <laughs> yes, I can make unlimited hamburgers. <laughs> and this guy gets a jump on me. It's... I forgot about him. Entirely. I think that guy got the jump on you in the last video, too. He just keeps getting the jump on me. This pathway over here that I didn't quite go down yet. No, not this one. Just looking at that guy wandering around. He doesn't know what he's doing. But this pathway uh, down here, the one I stopped halfway through, that contains some items and if we didn't save Devlin, then we wouldn't have been able to loot his corpse for the key. We just don't think to check him. I guess that means up until this point, we haven't been really looting the corpses. It's just every corpse was holding an item, and then it just dropped it when they died. So most people were just holding magazines of bullets. I want to know what those blue cactus looking things yes. are. They are clearly tiny wizard hats. Spiky wizard hats. Used for extra defense. Well, wizards, they have to wear their protection. So, this uh, whole room contains one of the only yeah. and few instances yeah. of napalm. Yeah which we wouldn't have got if we didn't save the the guy yeah. in the shuttle lift. And also the shotgun. We could have bought a shotgun in the gun shop. It's one of the first available weapons in the back of the store, but this one's right here. We'll actually find a lot of weapons in the game without the need to purchase them, so I just kind of refrain. The sumo shirt is, even if it does appear later in the game, it's worth having right now. It is just that good a weapon. It is the weapon that makes you the master of the universe. And that is what Dogs is. He learns through putting shirts on. He doesn't he doesn't know anything. He he saw some sumo wrestlers before and you know, that's that. But um that's about it for this episode. So uh thanks for watching and have a good day.